Okay, so I've been curious for a while as to how much juice um, the various units um, are actually um, using, and particularly for cases where if I want to keep it running all the time. So I picked up one of these uh, kilowatt. Uh, they have different ones. This is an EZ. I think it um, <clears throat> makes it easier to figure out things like, you know, how much things are actually costing, etc. But Right, for, for the purposes of this, it's just set at um, the uh, measuring how many watts uh, it's using. So I was going to do the G1 through G4, um, run it through the paces in terms of, you know, what is it like when it's just sitting um, off, idle, sleep, uh, under a heavy load, uh, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, just kind of compare them to see if we get you know, if, if there is much of a difference. So I'm starting out with the uh, G1 that I did in a, a pretty recent video. And I try, I'm trying to make it so that everything is pretty consistent. You probably can't see it here um, in frame. Let's see, move this up a little bit. Um, all units are going to have a... Um, Obviously, the power supply, it's going to have a network connection. It's going to have both a mouse and a keyboard connector and then um, the display port. So just to kind of do, um, you know, an apples to apples comparison. So here we're looking at a G1. Uh, it's completely off. The only thing is, is, is the power is on. It's been fluctuating, probably pulling in maybe one watt. Um so let's see what happens as we turn it on. And what, you know, um, oh, of course, also we're all going to be, um, they're all going to be using uh, Windows 11 and basically the exact same disk each time. So it's booted up right now uh, to the login screen. Um, you can see we're running around 37. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, I'm logged in. Not doing anything right now. It seems to be um, going down a little bit as it's uh, sort of settling. Um, that's pretty nice, down to you know the 10 watt range. So I'm not doing anything. I don't have anything running. Okay, let's um, let's try putting. I'm going to run the heavy load program that I've used um, in other videos for measuring things like uh, temperature, and we'll run it for about one minute and see what it does. I'm starting it right now, and obviously you could see it. Uh, increasing all right i'm going to keep i'm going to pause this here and we'll let it okay after a minute it's still around the 52 watt area range um let's go ahead and stop this and we see a pretty dramatic dip in the usage let it settle again. Okay, fans really worn down. And let's try putting it to sleep to see what we get. Okay, looks like at sleep, about uh, two watts. So for those folks that, um, like myself, that have a... Um, I'm using a G3 as an example for my um, my day-to-day -day machine, and uh, I, I probably have it go to sleep after a couple hours. So just sitting there would run about one. This is the G1, of course. Run about uh, maybe 1.8, um, 2.0, and we'll go ahead and wake it up, and we'll go ahead and log back in. Okay. We'll let it settle a little bit. Let's try a browser. 
Okay, not too bad. Oh, CPU usage is pretty low, like 4%, because it's just basically just sitting at a browser window. Okay, well, let's uh, give the, let's go try a G2. Okay, so we've got a, uh, a G2, and it's, I believe it's an a, a, i5-6500T, um, just plugged in with power, very similar to the others, it's at uh, 0.9 watts. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see what we get here. All right, we're at the um, Windows login. Logging in. We'll let it settle. All right, now it's starting to come down to lower, lower numbers. Okay, let's give it, let's try the heavy load and see what we get. Okay, I just started the heavy load. This seems to be doing a little better in terms of... Um, power usage on the heavy load, um, we're already up to um, almost 45 seconds and we're still at the, you know, 41, 42 for the, um, the wattage. And we just passed one minute. Okay, let's stop it. And we can see the numbers dropping down significantly. Let's uh, try putting it to sleep. Wow, its sleep is almost close to um, being off as far as, you know, vacillating between 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2. Let's wake it back up. This way, you can also, you know, confirm that it was asleep. Yes, it is. It's coming back, and we're back to the login screen. Very small numbers. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's try a, a G three. This is the G3. I believe, uh, I'll confirm it, but I believe this has an i5-6500T in it also. Um, the um, This is kind of a, a hybrid one that um, has some parts from a couple different things, but in essence, it is acting as a G3 65-watt, excuse me, 35-watt um, model. I'm going to put in the power. Okay, when it was starting booting up <laughs> on its own, um, but I wanted to go back, uh, shut it down. Um, so just sitting, looks like we're at uh, the one watt, which is very similar to our, our other units. Okay, let's go ahead and start it up now and um, see what happens. Okay, we're at the uh, Windows um, login screen. Similar numbers what we've seen in other places. Let's let's go ahead and log in. Let it settle a little bit. Hmm. Not dramatically going down. Let's see. Oh, okay. Now we're starting to see a little bit some of the better numbers. Let's try the um, the heavy load. Just started the heavy load. Looks like numbers similar to the G2 in terms of. Um, what it's pulling down and we're about about 30 percent excuse me 30 seconds into it halfway seems to be going about yeah still around the 42 and i just stopped the heavy load and you can see it uh, decreasing down pretty pretty rapidly it's just going to confirm i believe we do have a um yeah it is a it is a 6500t so we are um comparing apples to apples in terms of um the g2 and the g3 um it's looking pretty pretty low there wow that's really low okay let's see if we just go into browser 
it does spike up and then settles down. Okay. Uh, let's try a sleep. Hmm. Again, very, um, very deep sleep, so to speak. <laughs> 1.1, 1 1.2. And let's just wake it up just to confirm that the, that it's in sleep and not off. Okay. Yep. Looks good. Starting up again. And we're back to the Windows login. Okay. All right. Well, let's try a G4. Okay, we've got our G4. I believe this has an i5 8500T in it. Um, also 16 gig. Um, so this is without juice coming in. Or excuse me, juice coming in but not turned on. Um, looks like maybe 0.7 possibly 0.8 so it's a little lower than the others um, let's go ahead and fire it up okay we're at the windows login screen all right let's see as it uh oh settling down pretty nicely some pretty low numbers give it a little bit here um seems to do a little better with just this idle uh, let's go ahead and we'll try the heavy load. Okay, I just started the heavy load. Does seem to be running um, definitely lower than the the uh, prior generations. Um, looks like it's oh around the 37. Pretty good. Um, let's let it continue. Okay, this is at the one minute mark. Let's go ahead and stop it. Coming down pretty rapidly. Let's try just a browser. Just launching. It's just waiting for a query. And now let's try to do a sleep on this. Okay, we're in sleep. That's really low. Uh, well, I guess it's just a smidge lower than the, the, the G2, G3. Uh, even getting below the one watt. Let's go ahead and confirm that uh, it was asleep. All right, it's waking up. Turn the keyboard again. Oh, there we go. It took a sec. Okay, now we're at the, um, the login. Just wants the, a pin. Oh boy, that's that's uh, that's pretty good. Get some low numbers there. Pretty efficient. Now we're actually logged in. Boy, that's really low. Okay, um, that's some impressive numbers. Okay. Well, with the um, the successive generations uh they appear to be getting better with their um uh, power usage um i don't know if that's as much a um function of the gpu as it is of, of the actual unit itself um conceivably they're working together but uh i mean these kinds of numbers here almost look like the thing is a, is asleep and yet i've got something on the screen so that G4, um, the uh, G2, G3 seemed um, pretty much the same in terms of, you know, the, uh, but maybe that's also because of the CPU. I'm kind of curious to try the same experiment on a seventh gen um, inside of a, uh, a G3 just to see what kind of numbers we get. Um, but uh, this will kind of give you some some food for thought in terms of, um, you know, overall um, usage. And if something is sitting there, um, makes me kind of wonder about my um, backup NAS that's running on a, a G1 and what kind of uh, um, pull we're getting on that. So, okay.